What's up, gamers? Big Man here, back with another video. But before we get started, I just want to remind you all to smash that like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. And I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. You guys rock, and don't you ever forget that. So, with all that said, let's get into the video. Imagine being a PC gamer, playing nothing but Fortnite and COD Warzone, playing nothing but free-to-play Battle Royale games at 480p and crashing every 5 minutes. PC fanboys try so hard to make everyone think that my PC is better than consoles, but when you actually look at them both for yourself, you see they are all just a load of biased lying fanboys who are just jealous of the consoles, jealous that their PC which cost them thousands of dollars is big Corp stomped by console hardware at a fraction of the cost. All PC gamers talk about is 4K and ray tracing, but then you see the games they play, nothing but Among Us and Fall Guys, and they all love buying microtransactions from companies like Activision and EA. Always bringing up PC gaming when we're trying to talk about PS5 and Xbox, when it is totally irrelevant to the conversation at hand. My PC is better than console. Imagine playing on console. My 3090 is better than console. You are just console balance. Bro, no one cares about your weird PC. Go comb your neck beard and straighten your fedora. But here at Big Man Gamers, I have in my possession hard evidence that in fact, PC gaming is irrelevant and no one cares. Hard evidence that PC gaming is on the decline and that PC gamers are basement dwellers that live off of Cheetos and Mountain Dew. Take a look here at Amazon.com. The PS5 has over 17,000 reviews and a solid 5 star rating. And the Xbox Series X, 7,000 reviews also with 5 stars. Now, let's take a look at the 3090, made by Asus, you know, the company that makes those cheap laptops no one buys. Oh look, significantly lower numbers with lower reviews. Isn't that funny how we are always told that PC gaming is so superior, but when you get into the down and dirty, get down to the brass tacks, crunching the numbers and doing the math for yourself, that in fact, PC gaming just cannot compare. Outmatched and outperformed by consoles on all fronts, at a significantly lower cost, PC gaming is just being dominated by the consoles, being utterly destroyed by Switch, Xbox, and PS5, and PC fanboys are in full damage control mode. You'd think with the consoles looking so good, everyone would be happy, but of course when their precious PCs are threatened, the PC master race come crawling out of the woodwork, trying to cope with PC gaming being on the decline, and with the industry moving ever closer to a console-only market, salty that their narrative they were trying to push for so long that PC is so much better is starting to fall apart. How they were always saying PC gaming will make console gaming completely irrelevant. But it looks like they were wrong again. They try to make everyone think PC is better, but numbers do not lie. No one cares about weird PC gaming. When you break down their arguments and 
pick them apart. All that stuff they say is meaningless and does not hold water. All PC gamers do is play soap opera simulators and watch in-game ads. All they do is play Battle Royale and buy loot boxes from the in-game store. PC fanboys primarily use the Epic Game Store to buy their games. That's what they do. They just love their precious Epic Game Store. The games PC fanboys play are complete garbage. CSGO is mediocre trash. Minecraft is absolute dog shit. And Halo is overrated crappy garbage. If you game on PC, then you are not a real gamer, not like us PlayStation fans. PC has no games, but us PlayStation fans have lots of games, as well as an SSD more advanced than anything compatible with PCs, able to boost graphics and performance, feats that are just not possible with the limitations of the PC platform. Why do developers even bother making games for PC? All it does is hold back the potential of games on other platforms. Why should our console versions look like balls just because of the PC's limitations and all for limited returns? Because consoles are the world's largest platforms with the most customers. It's common knowledge that games sell better on the consoles, because that's what everyone has. All PC exclusives are available on the Xbox anyway, so that just makes PCs irrelevant. Why would people buy a game for PC when you could just get it for Xbox instead, for way less money, and you'll have a much better better experience too. Gaming companies should just not bother with PCs and should just focus on the consoles instead. Steam is just an anti-consumer monopoly with poor sales and utterly lacking in features, locking games into their ecosystem and putting brick and mortar game stores out of business, giving people no pre-owned or trading options. PC fanboys are a bunch of man-children, always trying to prove a point that doesn't exist, all the while having no games to back it up. Not like us PlayStation fans, we have many games with so many exclusives not even possible on PC, like God of War, Spider-Man, and Uncharted. But PC has no games, all they play is trash like Half-Life, Portal, and Left 4 Dead, a load of garbage that all look like indie games or something you'd find on the PS2 in 2005. Just a load of dated first-person shooters with people running around saying, MOTHER CAKE IS A LIE! If PC fanboys played a single-player game, they wouldn't understand why there was no lobby before the game started. They wouldn't understand why camping doesn't get them more kills. They'd put on their headset and scream abuse at in-game NPC characters and not understand why there's no one on the other end returning the favor. That's why they made Fallout 76 the way they did, to appeal to these people, to appeal to the lowest common denominator. Imagine thinking PC is at all irrelevant, but it is just outmatched and outdated by the might of the consoles, outmatched by our epic god tier exclusives which they have nothing to counter with. What a bunch of noobs. It really is looking like the end for P.
PC gaming, with PC having nothing to offer, bringing nothing new to the table, and the fanboys are in full damage control mode. What a sorry state the PC platform is in. No games and shitty hardware, and populated with a bunch of fedora wearing, cheeto eating edgelords who wouldn't know a good game if it smacked them in the balls with a wet towel. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, this has been Big Man Gamers, and I am out.